Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in, uh, well, we're in the, uh, are we in the Black Volker's base? Anyway, we're racing. We're gonna race our swoop bikes, which is sort of a hovering craft of things that go through a tunnel and down a corridor and it's kind of interesting and in between episodes, I've already done a uh, trial run, so I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna stay still at the start and all that, because that's what happens the first time you try it. Uh, so, we're dealing, right now you can see at the top over here that we're dealing with a person uh, that uh, welcomed us down here to uh, where the soup bikes are, um, are right now. So, he's offering to tell me how to race, and because he doesn't actually go into tutorials, we're actually gonna... Yeah. Tell me how it's done. Oh, it's pretty simple, really. First, try not to crash into anything. There's debris and obstacles scattered all over the course, so watch out. All swoops are equipped with dynamic deflector systems, so hitting an obstacle won't cause you to crash, but it will shake you up a bit and slow you down. The track also has the accelerator panels built into its surface. If you fly over one, it'll give you swoop, uh, your swoop a boost of speed, so try to hit him when you see him. When the uh, engine starts running hot, you'll wa get a warning and you'll have to switch gears. Other than that, just try to hang on. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's interesting that a jet prop propelled... It seems like it's a jet, it sounds like a jet and it looks like a jet, although the hovering system doesn't seem to be a jet, but it does seem... It, it is interesting that you would need gears for that, and... But still, it makes sense, or I guess in the gameplay thing. So yeah, let's start the race. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posted the fastest time is the winner. Normally a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. So make your runs count. Gaidons or Gadons put his trust in you. You need to win this race or Bregic's Volkars will get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. Uh, okay. How do we get the race started? Well, sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over at the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make my uh, make any tweaks or repairs to your soup in case you want to go out for another heat. Good luck, and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Yeah, probably. Okay, but let me just bring up the volume. Um, because I, I had the volume a little bit lower over there, so I could talk over him. Oh, we can leave? It's sealed. Yeah, we're alone, for starters. Uh, and we have a few friends over here. I suppose these are all racers. I didn't talk to them. In my trial run, I just went over there to the race announcer and just did the first stint. Very simple, very easy. Uh, it really is very easy. But let's have a chat with these guys. Actually... Anglu? Let's have a chat with Anglu, see if she says anything. Oh. I never understood why so many of my new riders make your first competitive start in the biggest race of the year. That accelerated gate on or slapped on your swoop will help. I just don't think that'll be enough. But there's always a, plus there's always a chance it will explode during your run. Yeah, she doesn't say much, so let's... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna... Lo lower the volume, not to minimum. There it is. So, hi. Uh, watch yourself out on the track, rookie. Every year we lose a couple of you, first-timers. We backs are losing enough members as it is without having them die on the track. Just be careful, and good luck. It's interesting, are you the same race as that guy over there? Do you have the same voice pattern, that same... They have their very bassy mouth. That must be pretty good for beatboxing. But yeah, they have a very bassy mouth that makes noise. Uh, if you're on a... If you have... A, a subwoofer or very, very bassy headphones right now, you're, you're gonna have heard that for sure. Hey, Dubba. Hey, look at this! Fresh meat on the track! Well, don't get your hopes up, rookie. No first year rider has ever won the swoop racing season opener. Garon must be getting desperate if he's grabbing first timers off the street. When we Volkers win this year, it'll be over for you, hidden backs. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, another rookie on the track, eh? Give you punks a helmet and a swoop bike and suddenly you all, you all figure you're racers. But judging by the look of you, I'd say I don't have much to worry about. The bags are really scraping the bottom of the barrel now. Yeah. This guy is not a guard, however. Well, I, I, it's not a guard. It's not, he's not one of these guys, I should say. Let me just bring the volume up because... Can you see what that is? Bastila. Oh, I can talk to her? Come on. Can I talk to you? 
No one's allowed to talk to the prisoner, Bredic's orders. She wouldn't hear you anyway. She's got a neural disruptor collar on her uh, to keep her under control. Yeah, Punka, indeed, man. Babule, babule. Hmm. I'm gonna bring the volume down again because everything here is gonna be. Did he just repeat himself? <laughs> uh, because this guy is also... Yeah. Oh, you're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're riding for the hidden bags, I see. I always like them. I hope they sh can show these Volkers a thing or two, but I digress. Well, they're just actually trying to warm up to me, but sure. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. We've only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Uh, so, uh, what's the time to beat? Well, Redo says the best time so far, 38 seconds 43. Good, but not the best I've ever seen. I don't know if it will stand up. Yeah, I don't know what time I did on my trial run. I don't think it was as good. Uh, so, uh, what happened to the rider you lost? Well, same as usual, he was pushing himself beyond his limits and he hit some debris on the track. The deflectors kept him from crashing, but the force of the impact jarred him from his swoop. Don't worry, they scraped what was left of him off the track already. Just remember to hang on and you should be okay. You can hit the track whenever you're ready. Okay, well, uh, I wanna go and race one of the heats. Okay, let's get you out on the track. It, that was a, the most amazing running I could ever hope for okay so this is our swoop bike i don't know how really we can be crashed out of it and i can't really tell what the thing at the bottom right is i can move my uh, my cursor so i can really show you the thing we need to do though is just press dna to uh to go left to right or right to left i guess and just press space okay and it's all a matter of keeping an eye at the bottom for the uh, shifting gears it's as simple as that, and I think I'm getting, like, not a perfect, most likely, but getting pretty good here. So it's the fourth gear already. Doom, doom. Yeah, that one. Okay, there we go. 24.75. Yeah, that's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I lost a lot of time uh, on my first attempt. You did it! You got the top time! Just beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years. It's amazing! Someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes in and he... Wait a minute, I don't believe this. Look at the board! One of the Volkers just beat your time! What? Oh, it was Redderus. I should have known. That's okay. The day ain't over yet and the accelerator's still holding together. Just have to get out there again and show them how it's done. Uh, you expect me to get a better time than that? Are, are, you, are you kidding me? Redderus! Dude! Oh, you had an impressive run there, Rookie. But it wasn't good enough, was it? I am twice the rider you'll ever be, Rookie. You can go out there and for another run if you want, but why bother? You'll never match the time I posted. No? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. How does the game save the quick saves? I can't, I just probably one slot. Hey. Oh, back again, I see. So, are you ready to hit the track? Not literally, of course. We've already lost one rider that way today. Yeah, so, well, uh, what's the time? The Redders has the best time so far, 24.50. Good, but not the best I've ever seen. I don't know if I if it'll stand up. Okay, uh, I want to race one of my hits then. Okay, let's get you out on the track. Okay, I'm not really... Hmm, this is not good. I hope the... I, I don't know how that's gonna go. If it's the same track... And I'm already wasting time at the beginning... Yep. I might have to restart that. I mean, the point is... Yeah, no way I can beat that. Okay, okay, I can do this. So, I'm kinda curious... I just wanna... No, shut up. Just, yeah. yeah, it's all fine. Uh, so I'm gonna reload here. Uh, apparently all that training didn't really do me very good. I, because it's scripted, I saw that, uh, after my trial run. Okay, let's just go. Uh, so I can ask the time to beat, I can ask what happened to the other one, and I can just go. Okay, so the thing is, the thing is, um, that's, that, the guy showing up all happened to me as well. And if his time is based on my time, which I find possible... 
It isn't amazingly likely, but it's not too bad. We really only need to beat the uh, the 38. It's perfectly okay. Yeah, it's already down there, so I'm gonna go with this. Um, but if it is based on my time, then a very easy way to cheat the system would be to do it like this. 70, 27, 54. I'm pretty sure I did worse than that on my trial. But yeah. So, I'm very happy with that. And the same happens. And that's all I kill for. There we go. See? Unless, of course, it's the same time. In which case, I will just save the game. Because I... I think I can beat that, but it's very tricky. Okay, so what's the time to beat? See? Oh, come on, game. 27, 29. That's just bullcrap. That's what that is. Oh, boy. Okay, so... I wanna race. 27, 29. Uh, should be okay. Should be okay. We just land a few at the start, and... Should be okay there. Of course, I don't think I can slow down. So the start is what matters the most. So there we go. So we're getting pretty, pretty decent. There we go. So that's that. Let's see if I can overheat the engine by just doing this. Well, I mean overheat. I mean just actually get into a position where. Oh. That was interesting. How did I do that? Well, I succeeded anyway. You did it! You did it! In 20 years, I've never seen anybody handle a swoop like a uh, swoop like that. Nobody's going to beat that time. Nobody. I guess Garon knew what he was doing when he picked you f to write for us. Now the only thing I is to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring... Oh boy. Through your skill and courage, you are proving yourself to premier swoop rider of Ontaris and brought great glory to the hidden back gang. Now, here to present or present the champion's prize, Bregic, leader. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. So-called. Nobody called me that. Rider cheated. Okay. He might have... Yeah. Just bring up the volume there. So I cheated. Yes, I did. Why, what's the problem? I mean, I'm, I'm the so-called champion. Yeah. You better not be trying to cheat me, Bregic. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Bregic. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all of our most secret traditions. We're probably supporting scumbags and stuff like that. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Bridget. Oh, she's awake. Well, that's what you get. They didn't know she was a Jedi. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Bregic. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Oh kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Mm. Th that very well might be the case, actually, of what is about to happen. I am gonna use, so I'm fully healed, I am gonna use a shield. We got the Seath shield over there, I think a, nan a normally energy shield is gonna be enough. So... Okay, so go for him. <laughs> Seriously, what? There it is. Okay, so she's doing business back there, I am... Yeah, missing, unfortunately. Oh, this is probably not gonna happen. Or probably not gonna go well. Am I getting the experience there that she... F for her kills? Can't really tell her life. Well, I can't tell, tell her life. But. Okay. Boy. Ah, she's, ha she's immortal at this point. Let's see if I get the kill. She seems to be missing a bunch. There we go, 400. Nice. Hey, Basila. It's good to see you again, I guess. Oh, just like that, huh? Okay, let's see what we have. We have an adrenal strength gland, or whatever that is. Adrenal gland. Uh, double-bladed lightsaber! Oh, yeah. That's what I... That's that's what I want. Well, maybe... Yes. Eh, well, we'll see. Bregic's armband and Bregic's gloves. And Bregic's belt as well. Let me see how that goes. So, Bregic's belt... When used in conjunction with his armband, produces an effective barrier against all against melee attacks. 
That is pretty good. Get that. Now what about the arm bend? Where, where, oh, it's over here. What does that do? Plus dexterity. Very nice. And over here we have the response package. <laughs> the response package, that is such a weird thing. Uh, and over here, I can't use that, why? You cannot equip this item, you don't have the prerequisites. Please see the item description. Um, okay, so what is it, what is it required for? Is, do I need to be a Jedi? Probably need to be a Jedi. Weapon, oh, I need lightsaber proficiency. Mm -hmm. But there's a mod that I saw the other day that uh, actually gives you uh, Jedi classes at the beginning of the game. Uh, the, I'm, I'm preparing to be a Jedi a spellcaster, but I I think... Let me look at my feet over here. My feet. Uh, I think I am preparing to... Melee weapons. Sneak attack. I think it's just a single a single weapon or or dual weapon, but not a double-bladed one, because that really requires strength. So I'm not very good on that. I'm more for the dexterity kind of dude. So probably a single weapon or something like that. Um, but, oh, she's not with me. Okay, so that explains it. Why she didn't uh, just talk to me immediately. There's nothing else. Let's have a chat with her. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Huh, it's a long story, that's what I was gonna say. Um, but I'm not, because that's clearly less light side, so yeah, my name is Marcos, Marco Jeros. I'm here to save you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Yeah. Brzezik and his Volkers <laughs> would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Uh... Oh, come on, I can't just recognize that? Hmm... Let's go with this one. I think you've got things confused. You were a helpless prisoner until I came along. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. Hmm. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? No, no, we're not. For a moment there, I thought she was going to pull a, uh, the, the wall. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Uh, but no, it's, it's, you don't about the Jedis and all that. Okay, so uh, we aren't the only survivors. There's Garth, yeah. Uh, when there was another one, wasn't the? Oh no, yeah, that guy. Well, the guy that died in, downstairs in the in the under city. Uh, we aren't the only survivors. Karth Onasi is alive as well. Karth Onasi is alive. Yeah. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over, and he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. It's my dream. Why am I dreaming of her again? What? Oh. You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Uh, you, you were trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war. 
And it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Ooh, sounds like... Sounds like they have a lot of... Well, at least Garth is in with this line over here. Like, he has a lot of history on her... on With her... Well... Uh, I, I didn't really mean to say on her, but... Um... Yeah, both of you. Oh, it's yeah, both of you. I, I I need this. So for starters, here she is displaying. She's just basically taking over, and I'm okay with that. Technically, on the lower side of things, because she's the Jedi, so she's the boss over here. Uh, we just need to follow her up. Uh, but the thing is, I, I well, I as I as I told you at the beginning of this let's play, I never seen the the movies of Star Wars. So the, my impression of the Jedi's is that they're all very boring. Which might be reinforced if I did watch the movies, but I, I'm not saying that they are. Which is that's my impression, and but the thing is, Basla is not. At least she's not. Dis, she not. She's not right now. What she even pointed it out, despite her Jedi training, she's very rash sometimes, and that makes it interesting. That makes her interesting. Um, so I think this is just a continuation of what she's doing right now of her just being impulsive or being egotistical, and I think that's interesting. Would my character go... Well, I think my character... Yeah, I mean... I, I, I... The first time I finished this game, I... Um, I did a light playthrough, I think. I think it was the first time. And... Uh, this being a Bioware game, there's of course romance. So I think sucking up to Bastille over here probably wouldn't be too bad. So I could just say Karth, no. That said, it's gonna be it's gonna feel more interesting if I challenge her at, th at all before, you know, dropping a few lines here and there and just like mm, I would jetty your force up or Jedi your force or something like that. anyway anything stupid. So I'm just gonna tell them to both settle down because this is uh, they're both out stepping out of line basically. Well, actually, Karth isn't really stepping out of line. Uh, they not neither, neither of them are. They're just being br brusque, brusque. I don't know how to pronounce that word. B-R-U-S-Q-U-E. Anyway, both of you, settle down. This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. Ooh. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. We weren't the getting hung up. The out there, we just have to find it. Well said, Karth. Huh. The sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Um... <laughs> I could assume the this is just basically the role of the knight in shiny, shiny armor over here. Is it Shining armor or Shiny armor? At any rate, I do have a little bit of a Shiny armor right now. Uh, but uh, it does... He, let's go with that. Yeah, I mean... Take the opportunity now that since we didn't do it before of sucking up to her. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I won't, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure she's not gonna like that, but whatever. I won't let that happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is oh. something wrong? What? You seem as if something's troubling you. Me? Well, yeah. So, uh, something weird happened when we first met. And also before, like a vision? A vision? A vision of what? Of you, fighting a dark Jedi. R Raven, I guess? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of Force sensitivity. What, uh, force sensitivity? What do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. This isn't the first time I had a vision, though. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Okay. Sounds like we have a plan, then. And we're back over here. Fantastic. Okay, because we need to do things over here anyway. 
Uh, I don't need to do that over there. I need to go into my workbench and uh, upgrade my lightsaber because I can. Oh, look at that. We have a crystal yellow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. You can change the type of crystal that it is. Huh. Or something. Cool. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I'm looking forward to using that. Uh, over here we have Karth's blaster that's already fully upgraded. Don't really need to mess with that. On the melee side we have our prototype uh, blade that can't really be upgraded anymore. And we have Mission's blade over here that can be, but she, she, hers is not being used. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with a single lightsaber. It's sort of traditional. Sort of traditional just gives me extra dexterity, I think, because I d don't have anything else. Yeah, there we go. And then you can't do anything else. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Stop messing around with that. That's a pretty decent length for a blade. I would say probably about a meter. It's not it's not the longest sword ever, but I mean it's a it's a sort of a bastard sword length or I guess hand and a half sword length cuz you know for a long sword for a proper long sword it would be a little bit l longer than that and then a little bit of a longer hilt as well to offset the balance and uh, you know to just co compensate for the length of the blade in terms of balance of the weight and of course because you would need to use two hands most of the time for that but you can use two hands on this one as well it's fine uh hey mission hey there what can i do for you i um i want to talk to you about your brother i don't want to talk about griff and lena just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil subjects closed as far as i'm concerned if i'm gonna be any help to you i can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank so is there something sorry. else you need sorry uh, never mind. Okay, have it your way. Well, uh, your way. Uh, let me also talk to this big guy over here. I'm gonna lower the volume before that happens. Hey, Zalbar. Oh, is there something you want? Yeah, uh, do you know anything about the planet we're on? I know that it isn't my own world. That's all I care about. There's nothing here to interest me. Um, have anything to, more to say about yourself, Zalbar? I will honor my life debt, but I don't feel we share more than that. Mission may say more, but I will not. Oh, okay, so this all goes back to what we talked about before with him. Uh, I'm also going to save the game. I think I can talk to Bachelor a, a little bit more about things, but I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity here to uh, unequip Mission. So I'm going to bring Karth with me. I'm going to unequip Mission of her stuff. Oh boy. You there, human. You are the writer who won the Great Super Race in the Lower City, yes? Uh. That's right. I have a message from Kandoros Ordo. He says to meet him in the cantina. Kandoros? Isn't he the Maldoran who. that works for Davik? Oh, yes, that's the one. Given his, conne given his connections, you can see why would, it would be wise to attend this meeting. Kandoros didn't say why he wanted to meet you, he only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why I, it would be foolish to ignore his request. Yeah. Thank you for the message, I'll go meet him in the cantina. A wise choice, human. I would advise you to not wait too long. Maldor Mandalorians, I should say, are, no, not, are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. Okay. And we have one objective already. Good stuff. Good stuff. I need to just remove our equipment. But for right now, I am Colonel RPG, and this has been Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.